Here we are in our QuickBooks Online test company file using the accountant view as opposed to the business view. You can toggle between the two views by going to the cog up top and switching the view down below. We've been looking at tracking the miles using the QuickBooks Online tracking tools primarily focused on giving information to sole proprietors for helping with their tax preparation and the automobile deduction using the mileage method. When in the accountant view, this is located on the left-hand side under mileage. This is the intro screen we saw last time. When we skip that intro screen, we see a screen like this. Now, I just wanted to reiterate that most of the information on this screen is not really adding anything to the financial statements, the balance sheet and the income statement, but is more informational type of stuff. So before we understand how we can put this into our bookkeeping system to help us with our taxes, we want to get an idea of the deductibility of auto expenses on the taxes. So let's talk about that now. Most of this information is coming from publication 334 tax guide for small businesses for individuals who use schedule C tax year 2022, which you can find on the IRS website, irs.gov, irs.gov. This is the first page of the form 1040, noting that if you are a sole proprietorship, you will typically have another schedule, a schedule C that will flow into schedule one and ultimately flow in here to line eight of the form 1040. This is a screenshot of a schedule C, which is a profit or loss from business. The form typically needed to be added if you are a sole proprietorship and you can see it basically consists of an income statement, income minus expenses. Our focus here is on a particular type of expense, that being the auto deductions related to a vehicle uh, type of expense. And there's a couple different ways we might deal with being able to take that deduction, which will have some implications on how we might be setting up our bookkeeping 